All right, welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Brett Hofstadt, and I'm here as a guest with Jim Kaspari's uh, business coaching group for Peak Business Acceleration. And uh, we're here today to talk about how to build a book for your business in 30 days or less. And so I'm honored and uh, thankful to Jim for letting me be his host here for today. Thanks for joining everyone. So I'm going to go through a presentation. I'll move a little quickly through it. Uh, if you have any questions about something you don't understand, please jump in and ask uh, so I can clarify or explain. But I do wanna leave time at the end for questions and answers and discussion. And my aim is to get through this in a half hour or less and then we'll have some more time to talk and discuss. All right, so here we go. I'll share my screen. And uh, is that good for everybody? Okay, all right, so we're gonna talk about how to produce a business building book in 30 days or less. And uh, I have done this a few times for people. I have to advance, here we go. All right, so, Here's an outline of what we'll talk about, why this is worth doing, what does it take to do it, how you do it. Uh, with a lot of options, the two biggest options are, do you do it yourself or do you look for a publisher? Uh, who can do it with you or for you or can you actually do it yourself? And then there's some more resources and details we can go into if we have time and interest. All right, so now I'll talk about why this is a great thing to do for your business. I have 17 reasons and there's probably more. I won't read this word for word, but you can see that uh, if you have a book in, with your name on it, it instantly creates you as an authority in your field on that topic, whatever that book is about, right? And uh, once you're an author, people take notice of you. And so it also boosts your credibility Whenever you want to talk to people or people talk about you, if they can say, hey, she wrote a book on this topic or she's an author on this or he is, it's great credibility for you. Uh, and you can put it on all your profiles on social media, right? Author of whatever the book is on your website too. Uh, it increases your demand to speak with other people because these groups are looking for people that are authors or famous in some way, right? Even if it's in a niche field, once you're an author in something, you have instant fame that you could benefit, that you could leverage. Uh, so then related point, it establishes you as a thought leader on that topic. Uh, it's a great source of pride. You can say, hey, now I'm an author. I can put my own book on my bookshelf along with all the others. Here's some more benefits. Uh, it becomes a permanent item in the world that passes on to your family, your friends, anyone else who might learn about you. Uh, it increases your exposure to new audiences. Uh, it expands your reach because when you have a book published uh, in bookstores or on Amazon, which is the largest bookstore in the world, of course, uh, that instantly puts you into every country where Amazon operates. And uh, it can also obviously be a source of new income if the book sells well. And the nice thing about books, especially on Amazon, is that once you, it only takes effort to make it once, but it's there forever. And so every day, every week, every month, when people buy the book, it's residual ongoing income. And it also introduces you to new people, new influencers who are also experts on your topic. And, uh, Additional benefits here, uh, it can be a sales tool for your own business because the costs of producing and publishing a book now are so inexpensive that it could be a giveaway for your people locally or even people that you mail the book to. And I'll show you, I'll tell you how much it costs. It's really not that much. And uh, so it can become a great sales tool and promotion tool for your business like a, a lead generation tool. That's another point here. And uh, it's a way to showcase and highlight people that you work with, like your clients or your customers, because you can include their stories and their results in your book. So that does two things very important. It provides a social proof 
for you, but it also gives them an incentive to share your book and talk about it because now they're famous too, right? And uh, if you do it right with your book, it gives people extra motivation to contact you directly. Go to your website, for instance, give you a call, send you an email because they've read your book. If you do it well or have a compelling message, then it gives them an extra incentive to reach out to you when they wouldn't have done that before. All right. So let's talk about some details, but here's, a, here's an example. And this is someone I worked with, uh, Jeff Weber. He has an investing education business. And here you see his website on the bottom, which by the way, I'll give a good plug for Jim Kaspari. He uh, helped redesign, rebuild this website. So this is his work you're looking at here too. But uh, I have worked with Jeff to create a couple books and his most recent we published in 2019, last year. And you'll see when it came out, we managed to get it as the number one new release in Amazon in this key category here of options trading. And uh, so this has been a huge boost to his business. And it, it uh, met a lot of the benefits we just talked about. You know, he's been invited on podcasts because of this. Uh, but the, the book sells every week. And um, He's getting a ton of clients, people signing up for his email list because of this, new clients. It's really, it's just been uh, exactly what we wanted. So I'll show you some results here. So here's a tool I have that shows book sales reports. So this is just his book, uh, all time since it came out in July of last year. And it's been almost $3,000 of profits just from this book alone since then, which is nice. Right, uh, And here you see the launch. We had a soft launch for his insider group and then we had the major launch. You can see the big you know, spike in sales we had from that. But every year, I mean, every month it's been great. And as I said, this is really, the purpose of the book was not to just sell the book primarily. It was to be a lead generation, you know, client generation tool for him. And it's worked very well for that too because he's earned a lot more than this just from the clients that have come to him from through the book. All right, here's another example, somebody who's local to us here in Sacramento. Maybe some of you are familiar with him. That's Kurt Summer and I helped him create two books. And he's, a, he's an expert in the solar and renewable energy field. So these books have been great for him. Uh, they established him as a leader, a credibility, you know, an expert in his field, uh, helped him meet people, uh, bring clients, so, uh, and these are great books. If anyone wants to save energy on their home, I you know, literally highly recommend these books because uh, this first one, Home Energy Savings Made Simple, that's a great book for everybody. But uh, these are some examples. All right, so what you need to think about is how specifically would a book help your business? And here's some examples I talked about, that, which are some of the benefits I mentioned before, but you really do want to have a focus, you have a purpose for why you're going to do this. And it could be more than one reason, but you do want to have a primary goal and vision for it. And then when you've uh, settled on, when you've decided to make a book, you wanna do some market research. And so you can do that on Amazon. You can do that by going into bookstores, look what's out there in your category. And whether there's a lot of books that are comparable to yours or there's not, either way is a good thing. Uh, if there's not any books like that, it means you might be in a, a green field, you know, new market. If there are a lot of books already, that's good too, because it means it's a popular topic. But then the challenge becomes, how do you create a more unique or specialized niche in that field? Or how do, how do you distinguish yourself in that field? So that takes some thought and planning, but uh, it's still good to do and possible to do. Right, so the point is you do want to have a lot of thought about the plan and the marketing before you start. All right, so here's one of those tools. Or here's a few tips on how to do that. I mentioned Amazon. And if you're planning to publish your book on Amazon, then hopefully it makes sense. You want to do a lot of that market research on Amazon because that's where your, your competitors will be, right? Uh, but I list a few other ways to do your marketing research uh, here. But uh, when you're on Amazon, there's a great app in Chrome, the Chrome browser called Keywords Everywhere. 
And here's what it does for you with a screenshot. It shows you in this first column here what the Google search traffic is for specific keyword phrases. And then it also suggests keyword iterations for variations with different words before and after your, 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 your string. So you can see uh, both the market potential for these things and it gives you new ideas or who to target. And I just you know, entered the word diet here as an example. All right, but you can see there's a lot of, uh, a lot of interest in that topic. Okay. And uh, I'm a big fan of Pat Flynn. He's the creator of the Smart Passive Income podcast and website. I don't think he's the first to say this, but he likes to say the riches are in the niches. So think about that. All right, so here's a big debate for you and for anyone who wants to write a book is do, do you go for Amazon, the big gorilla, you could say, or do you wanna go with a, a separate dedicated publisher? So here's my list of the pros and cons. Uh, I won't read all these out loud, but uh, the basic, uh, the key benefits to Amazon, I would say, is it's accessible to everybody. They have the tools, the resources to help you do it yourself or to walk you through the process. Uh, it doesn't cost a single penny to do it through Amazon, either before or during or after, uh, unless you choose to pay somebody to help you create your book or to help sell it. But theoretically, hypothetically, you could do it all start to finish yourself and not pay anything upfront or for the process. So that's incredible, I think. Uh, and what other points are, the royalties are very high compared to a traditional publisher. And because it's Amazon, they handle all the, the printing, the distribution, the sales backend, all themselves. So it's totally hands off, hands free for you which is really remarkable also. Um, basically when people buy the book, you know, you, all you know is that somebody bought it and you get a check, you get a deposit uh, actually two months later because they wait a month and then they wait another month for the processing. So there is a long lead time for the payments, but it still comes to you. And uh, you can do paperback, ebook and audiobooks now on Amazon. And, um, it's all print on demand. So there's no inventory required by you. And you can use that same print on demand function or feature to send the books to yourself and have on hand physically for yourself. So there's some cons, let's talk about those. Uh, it has to be exclusively sold on Amazon. So you cannot also sell the book on your website directly, for instance, uh, unless you have that link go to the Amazon page. You cannot have more than 10% of the book available for free elsewhere. And that uh, has some judgment calls and you know, there's basically, you know, if you're on a topic, we'll talk about maybe uh, how this uh, applies, but uh, the intent is basically not to have the same book available for free elsewhere, right? Cause that's not what Amazon would want. That wouldn't be fair. And uh, the other disadvantage is you don't know who specifically bought your book. All you know is which domain from Amazon they bought it from, which is basically the country. Uh, so if you were to sell books directly on your website, you would be able to uh, hypothetically collect somebody's email address, your name, contact information, that would be highly valuable. So you lose that going through Amazon. Uh, and of course, you lack a brand name publisher like Random House or Penguin. Um, and then let's see the other cons. Um, you are responsible for the quality of your book in most cases. So Amazon gives you guidelines, they give you templates, but uh, if, you, if you aren't good at grammar or proofreading or spelling, it's possible for you to put out a book that is not very high quality and you know, you'll, if, if it sells, you'll probably <clears throat> see that in the reviews. You know, and I've seen that from people, but you know, a few. So you wanna just be careful about that. All right, let's move on now, talk about outsourcing. So as I said, you could do it all yourself. It's probably not 
uh, smart or effective to do that for most people. So here's a list of many platforms and venues where you can find some help. There's a uh, Upworking Upwork, which is a freelancing website. Fiverr is another one for very cost-effective people or you know, in, inexpensive rates. You have your own personal and professional networks, including LinkedIn. Alignable is another one that uh, I like. Uh, Facebook, of course. You could might be in some business networking groups. You can tap into people there. Or you could also work with somebody who's dedicated to help you on your book. And I probably left off some other options there, but the point is there's, there are a lot of opportunities for you to find people. So here's a list of major roles and tasks. I'm not going to go through all these here in detail, but you can see that um, there is a lot to do, but they're all manageable. If you, it's like anything, uh, inch by inch, it's a cinch. If you just uh, break it down into manageable chunks and work them. But uh, what I want to point out here to everyone is that actually writing the book, the, the main bulk you know, content, the, uh, the body of your work, that uh, is a minor part. It's a small, I shouldn't say minor, that's not right, but I'll say it's a small part of the whole process. So you have to keep that in context. Uh, so I'll have a strategy coming up soon to help you with that. But this is a list of things you need to think about. All right, so here's the, the secrets to doing this quickly and easily or more easily that, uh, that I've found. You ask yourself these three questions. What am I a passionate expert in that I can talk about or write about effortlessly and quickly? I'm sure we all have those things, right? And then ask yourself, what content have I already written or produced that could be quickly collected and organized? So if you have a website with a blog that probably has a ton of material on it now that's very relevant and applicable for people, right? Um, if you've given presentations, that could be great content. Then the third question is, what if I set aside one complete day and force and with that time bound, with that time you know, restriction, just said, I'm going to use this entire day and work start to finish to write the entire body of my book right there. Just you know, burst it out. And again, if it's a topic that you're passionate about and very knowledge about, knowledgeable about, I'm guessing that, uh, that that could be feasible. Okay. So what that does then is just allow you to focus on the rest of the month or the rest of your time to handle all the other stuff that, that goes into a book and producing it. All right, so here's a couple things about the content of the book I'd like to give to you. There are some successful formulas and strategies to actually writing the book that is most effective as a business book. Okay. One of them is to use actual sales formulas in the, the outline and the structure and you know, the tone of your book. So here's an abbreviated one. I actually got this from Jim during one of his group coaching sessions. So it might be familiar to you. Uh, short version here is you interrupt people, right? you gain their attention, you engage with them by establishing a rapport, which includes establishing your credibility and your background. Then you educate them with some value, you know, the, the things they've came to you for, right? And then you end with an offer. And that's an important thing for a business building book because this is where you can say, uh, you know, I've just uh, been able to touch on my topic here for you. There's really a lot more I could say. You know, it depends on your specific situation perhaps. So I invite you to contact me to learn more or to do more. Right, or go to my website where you can learn more, things like that, right? So it's a, basically the book becomes a, uh, a big sales and marketing tool, like a expanded brochure for your business, okay? And then the other strategy or formula I highly recommend is something called the hero's journey. And other people write about this, but the person and the resource I really highly recommend is the book Resonate by Nancy Duarte. And uh, it's just fantastic. I use this now as my, my formula for presentations I give, but it works well in books too. 
And the short recap of it is that you don't make yourself the hero, you make your reader or your audience the hero in their own hero, hero's journey. You become the mentor or the guide or the uh, like the Jedi master, you could say, that walks them through this journey to a better place or to the promised land. And when you do that, it's a very effective way to keep people engaged and motivated and inspired by what you write. And so I also mentioned here, there is a more elaborated detailed sales formula I'd be happy to talk about, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of what we have and time we have here. All right, so it's important to be methodical about your project and look at it as a project here. So here's a checklist, a summary of a checklist that I've built for myself and for other people. But uh, so you can take this as a, a start and realize again that writing the book is just one part of the process, but you do need to think about the, the marketing, the, um, the production, the things that are not just the body of the book, like the cover design, uh, then there's might be some legal things to worry about. So, and then having a book launch, we could that could be a whole nother presentation about the marketing just for the book itself. But uh, these are the major things you want to think about. All right, so here's a, some key ingredients that you'd want to have. If you just pull a book out of your bookshelf, you'll probably, you know, you could use that as a, a resource or reference. But here's a short list of key items that you want in addition to the, the body of the book. And none of these need to take a lot of time, but you just want to plan on doing them. And uh, so here's another checklist for you there. And I mentioned the testimonials and blurbs. You want to definitely make a plan to include those. So that's why if you've decided to make a book, you can immediately start talking to people, mention to people, hey, I'm writing a book about my business, uh, I'd love to include your story or you know, your, your results in my book. How do, you, how do you feel about that? And it gets people excited and that's an opportunity for you to start building your list of people to notify when you have the book published too. All right, and there's other things you might need that depends on your situation. So I'd be glad to talk to you about those things. All right, so here's some resources that I've put together after doing this a few times. I've covered a lot of these here already. You'll probably recognize like the 17 benefits, using the hero's journey, using a marketing formula. There's also at least seven things you can put in your book that are proven to multiply and magnify your reader conversions when they read the book, which means increase the chances that they will contact you directly after they've read your book to do business with you or to sign up for your email list, things we talked about. So there's specific things you can do for that. And then there's a checklist I recommend everybody do. I come from a, an engineering project management background. So I think, I think like that, but I, it's very helpful to be methodical about it. All right. So to wrap up, I recommend you all ask yourself this question. What wisdom and content do I already possess that I could just repackage into a book and make it available to the world? So here's the last example with our own coach, Jim. He made a business journal for people. And this was another project that we worked together on and helped him do. And he had uh, thought about doing this, I think, for several years. But uh, he just needed a little extra push and encouragement to working with me. I also worked with him as a, an accountability partner in some ways, even though Jim is very sharp and accountable himself, but it's still, you know, it helps, it helps to have somebody else working with you. And we did this book for him in less than a month after we made the decision to do it too. All right. So that is what I have for you. I'd be glad to take some questions, go back to other topics and uh, have an open discussion. All right. Well, that was awesome, Brett. Right. Thank of, you. A lot of great uh, material there. Hope I didn't talk too fast. That was pretty quick, I think. Yeah, no. All right, thanks, Claudia.
So how can I help answer any questions you have? Or any thoughts? Anyone, has anyone yeah, I have a already made a book? About the 30 days or less. Is that, um, like, do you have guidelines on just how many hours a day you worked or like, like what's your whole thought process on that? Or like, do you do the research first? Do you write it and then research? Like, where's your... Well, it depends on each person, I'd say, uh, Simone. Um, you do have to map out. I think it's good. What I like to do is make sure everyone under someone understands the entire process and the ingredients they need. Uh, if if it involves research or maybe some like legal approvals, you need mm -hmm. for like a release approval. You have to factor that in. Um, but basically, it does help if you do a little bit every day or something every day, right? I mean, probably to do it in 30 days or less, you do need to expect you're going to have to put some time in every day. Um, it could be a couple hours. Or it could be some days where if you just can work the whole day, that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I hope I answered your question. I think it, it does depend to some extent, yeah. but... Um, Absolutely. Uh, but it, it definitely is possible. And basically what I was going to say is you identify everything that needs to be done and then you identify what can I do myself and what do I need or what do I want to give to somebody else and, or have somebody else help me? Uh, because it probably, if it's your first time, it's probably going to be overwhelming to do it all yourself right? or just take a lot longer. Um, so it is good, very helpful to outsource you know, some of the things at least. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. Yep. I, I think for me, I would like to write a, a, a book, uh, but not a business book. So uh, what I wanna write about is growing up Catholic and uh, mm. I haven't done it, but I think a lot of those things there could um, help me with that, so. Sure, yep. Yeah, a lot of this, uh, it doesn't matter what the book is about, but yeah, um, this is a great time and uh, situation in our world to write a book about uh, yourself or a memoir, for instance, right? Or book of essays, maybe commentary, you know, your thoughts on the world. Um, so let me, I'll be glad to take more questions, but let me also give you another secret to doing this in 30 days or less is to so Brad, what's an ideal length i know that can be as long as you want but is there a how it shouldn't be shorter than mm. okay well there's there's uh the requirements for amazon at least are very generous i believe the the shortest length of a so there's actually two questions for an ebook you can still publish an ebook only on Amazon and not even worth worry about a paperback. And that could be, I don't know. There's probably no minimum length to actually, you could just make it five pages probably or effective pages and you could sell it for 99 cents. You could basically just make a, a brochure and then reformat it into ebook format and sell it like that. Um, for a paperback, I believe the minimum is, uh, 23 page count, which is not much at all. Once you figure in the title page, you know, maybe an introduction, maybe a, about the author at the end, you really, 23 pages is easy to get to pretty quick. So, um, so I think, did I answer your question about that? That's great, thank you. Yep. Um, so- Hi, Bright. Hi, ahead. Bright. My name is Easy. Um, easy. Right. Thank you so much for the presentation. I wish I met you like three years ago because I spent over $15,000 um, on my book. It's on Amazon right now. I'll have shared my screen with you, but it won't let me share. But um, if I'd met you, I'll save a lot of money. But um, mm. my, my book is titled Your Life. You can actually check on Amazon right now. It's Patme Izzy Digu. I spell the last name slowly and I also write it in E Z I D I E G W U. 
Um, but I had to, after paying all the money I paid, I still didn't get the help I wanted. I still had to figure everything myself because they didn't deliver on what they said they would do. So I went on Amazon and finally found everything I needed. But I wish that, you know, I connected with you earlier on. But I'm working on my second and third book now. It's going to be easier. Mm -hmm. One one thing I want to do is making sure that I have a website. So um, I'm talking to Jim about making a website to connect with the book so they go to Amazon, but it's been a good journey. For me, I had this book. I've been carrying this book uh, with me. I'm a lawyer. My first degree is law. So I write every day. We read and write. So I've carried one of the contents of the book with me forever. So I just sat down one day and I wrote everything out. Mm -hmm. And then so... That's me. I'm just a writer. I just I can write and write and write. So it didn't take me long. It depends on your kind of person. So if you find that you're not a writer, you may need somebody who's a writer to help you, or you may need to work, um, like really put yourself in a place where you can write whatever makes you write, you know, um, mm-hmm. so that you're able to put it in. But it's not that difficult. And so like now with Amazon, just keep it simple. And but I need to have all those marketing tools, ideas you shared into my website so I can be able to like get more lead. But since I wrote the book, it's been, like you said, like authority makes you, you know, stand out. It's everything you said more than that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say that what you said was true and it's so cheap from what you said. Yeah. If I didn't write a book, I would just hire you immediately. But sometimes um, business people wait tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. But um, if you really mean business, you just have to, you know, Go to the next level and put yourself in, you know, this sand, like put your name in because it's gonna go from generation to generation. Whatever you produce will always be there and people will read it. And now you have audible book as well. I don't have audible book yet, but my my clients they said, Oh, you know what? I don't read books, I just want to listen to it. So I'm working towards that now. And that also is easy. Everything is easy now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. Easy. Well, congratulations on having your book out there. So that's fantastic. Uh, and your next ones, I hope they they go well for you. Um, so let me give one more tip to help you write your, if it's your first book that you're planning on and you still want to do it quickly. And the secret is kind of being a joke, but it's not, is to lower your expectations. <laughs> okay. Which means maybe what if it's not a, a book that's a prose book with a lot of actual you know, content in it. What if it's what if it's uh, something else like a, a journal or, a, or or a notebook or a planner, where it has a little bit of, of information from you, but most of the book is basically blank or just an empty template for the reader for the owner to use. So that's what uh, Jim did with his business journal. I think. Can you all see me on the camera here? So this is his, and so he he basically in the front. He put some tips and strategies, and these are basically his, from his blog posts that he already had written. And then most of the book is just these uh, templates, a uh, weekly journal for people, you know, week 18 action plan, week 18 results or lessons learned, right? And so imagine, you know, you put your front content in here, your introductory stuff, your value that you give to people, but then most of the book can just be a you know, a guide or a journal, and you can make it for a year, year's worth of planning or something else, which reminds me, as we have this uh, event here, it's November 18th, uh, almost the end of the year. It's a perfect time, a little tight now, but you can make something for 2021 for the next year about your business for people. And, um, you know, then, then you could, uh, offer that to people as a, a giveaway or a handout. So making a, some kind of what, what we call a low content book is another great strategy to do it in a month or less. Um, Brett, so how much does it cost to have work, someone work with you, my second book? I wanna make it fast and do it right from the beginning. So how much, if I wanted to like uh, launch it January, 2021, how much would it cost to work with you? I was want to put it on Amazon, but what's your, like, what do you do exactly for me and how much? Well, uh, my answer I always give at first is it depends. So how's that? <laughs> okay. What's your phone number? 
Well, I'd say I'd love to talk to you about that. Uh, how about we do that offline, okay? Because okay, your phone number. It really, okay, well, let me, I'll bring my contact information back up here. Um, oh, because I didn't do that. I meant to. Sorry. I have one more slide here. So here's me. Okay. Can okay. you see that? Yes, I do. Okay. So there's my email uh, phone number, and I'm on LinkedIn. So I'd be glad to talk to you. Is it easy? Is that how you say it? Yes. Name? Yes. Is it 210? Right. One zero. this code? That's the area code. Yeah. Okay. 7530856. Okay. And oh, you're right. Different. Brett at. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing that just to uh, give, the, give the spammers a little harder time. Oh, okay. Okay, I'd like to call you after this call. Is that okay? Sure, we could uh, talk uh, first time there. Sure. Can Where... I ask you a question, Brett? Oh, sure. So, um, how thank do you, you. How do you feel about um, putting a book together with different authors uh, combined? That's a, a great strategy. I mean, depending on the, the topic, it can work well. Um, so the benefit there, there's pros and cons. Uh, there's a lot of benefits though. You know, you get collaboration from people. Every, everybody gets to share in the, the results and the, you know, the, the credibility, the publicity. Um, so it just uh, also means you have to do more coordination with those people. You, they all have to be accountable for themselves, you know, their deadlines. Um, and you probably need somebody, could be one of those people, but somebody will have to organize the book and you know, put everybody together there to make it work as, a, as one, one product. But uh, it's a definitely a great strategy. So. Thanks. Are we able to get your... Um... This slide, are we able to get it sent to us in the email? Probably, uh, I, I don't have a problem with that, yeah, easy. How about if I'll, I'll follow up with you? Actually, I'll follow up with Jim Kaspari about that. He'll probably okay. be happy to send them out to everybody, so. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll talk to him about that, okay? Yeah. And to, I don't know if you, joined us in time easy, but for everyone here, eventually you'll be able to watch this on YouTube. Um, there's probably people watching here now on YouTube, so. Yeah, and he always sends us a link after the class too. Yeah. An email with the links. All right, well, we're coming up near the end of the hour for us. Uh, happy to take more questions or discussion or um, Suggestions from people. Otherwise, we can give everybody everybody back uh, the rest of the hour here. So, oh, Brett, what bridge is that? Oh, that bridge is uh, right near my house in Folsom. It's the uh, what's it called? The um, Iron Point Road exit on Got 50. it. Got it. Yeah. Not one you built though, huh? No, uh, <laughs> not one I helped with, no. But um, my tax dollars go toward the helping it keep it maintained, I'm sure. <laughs> one you have no fear of standing underneath. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this, uh, just a little more background, I'll tell you, so this, was my picture I had taken by somebody as a promotion and my author picture for this drones and civil engineering book. And so I had a friend and acquaintance who's also a drone pilot take this photo, uh, but we did it on the ground obviously. But um, I'm always looking for synergy and you know, mutual benefit. So he was able to promote himself because he you know, had a role in the book here with taking my picture, small role, but still, win-win you know, for both of us. 
So this is something I recommend to everybody. You look for opportunities to have win-win you know, partnerships with people that can help you with your book and you know, give them an incentive to help it become real also. So make sense? Absolutely. That's a great idea. We have a photographer and she takes amazing pictures and that's uh, another avenue for her, I think. Yep. There's plenty of plenty of opportunity out there to you know, work with people and make make this uh, valuable for them too. So. Yeah, even you mentioned earlier, just even having an accountability partner, even if you're working on different things, but having that accountability partner makes such a big difference. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also I didn't mention this, but uh, bartering for your services or time could be a great way to get help with the book too, right? You ask somebody, hey, if you can help me with something, then you know, what can I do for you? I'll help you with you know, things in my business. Okay, I'm going to check off. It was great seeing everybody. Look forward to seeing you all in a couple weeks. Enjoy your sunshine. We had a snowstorm again this morning. So, <laughs> uh, bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks again, Jim, thanks. for letting me host yeah. here and uh, hope it helped you all. Look forward to seeing you all in the next uh, group coaching. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Uh, it's Bye. time for me to re, uh, redo mine and get it out there. Okay, great. Well, if I can help, let me know. Hope to see you. All right. Soon. Thanks, Brett. Bye. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Take care. Take charge. All right. Thanks again.